Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to enable controlled folder access from Microsoft Intune. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have seen how to enable CFA from GPO, whereas in this video, I'm going to talk about everything that you need to know from the creation of endpoint security policy to adding protected folders, whitelisting applications, and checking logs on event viewer. Now you must know what is control folder access and how to use control folder access tool before you go ahead and implement the set of capabilities which I'm going to showcase in this particular video. The prerequisite remains same. Defender AV service must be running. Machine should be onboarded to MDE. Real-time protection must be enabled on the machine and all the security updates and patches must be installed on your machine. For this particular demo, I have a client named as Intune-ASR client, which is onboarded to Intune, as well as this machine is onboarded to MDE. Now in Intune, I'm going to create a endpoint security policy where I'm going to add protected folders and whitelisting applications. And once this setting is applied to the machine, I will run CFA tool, which will result in event creation on MDE portal as well as your client machine, which in my case, it is Intune-ASR client, okay? Now, this is my machine where I will be showcasing you everything uh, which is Intune onboarded. And as you can see, it's Intune-ASR client. The MDE service is running on the machine as well as if i go ahead and show you the current state this machine is azure ready joined from there it got onboarded to intune now if i click on info and if i go ahead and create the current report to see the set of options or let's say policies or controls which are getting applied then it will show you that Currently, there is no asset setting which is applied, which is moreover related to controlled folder access. Okay, so let's say if I do a filter for controlled, you can see these five settings which practically exist with this naming convention. They are not at all configured. So which basically mean that for now, controlled folder access setting on this particular machine is not enabled and this machine is onboarded to Intune as well as MDE. The next step will be going ahead and configuring this information, okay? Or this particular setting. So for that, I'm now logged into endpoint.microsoft.com and then I've clicked on endpoint security and now I'm going to click on attack surface reduction, right? Now from this particular section, I'm going to click on create policy. I'm going to select the first option itself, which is for Windows 10 11 server. And then I'm going to click on this option of attack surface reduction rules. Let's just name this rule anything. I mean, you can practically type anything. I'm just typing CFA hyphen in tune and then typing something randomly in the description section. Now I'll scroll down to the bottom because this is a uh, setting these are the settings related to SR rule, but this particular section at the bottom is moreover related to controlled folder access, right? And as you can see, I'm getting these three set of options. Here, likewise, I was showing you uh, the value block in GPO. You have to select enabled out of all these values that you see over here, okay? And then you can choose control folder access, protected folders list, and the allowed applications which means the location that you will be defining over here, be it EXE or any application that will be allowed to access protected folders. So for this particular demo, I'm going to use the same policy that I have used in my attack surface reduction rule video. And I'm just going to edit this particular policy to make sure control folder access settings, they get applied to my machine. As you can see, this particular policy is already having some values defined for attack surface reduction rules. But now I'm going to enable CFA as well from this particular policy itself. Okay, so I'll scroll down to the bottom and then I'm going to select 
enabled option from here and in controlled folder access protected folders section I'm going to give the same value which I was giving in my group policy object video which is C concepts work and then here again I'm going to give the same value which basically means adding the exact location where the exe exist okay which is see windows system 32 windows powershell v1.0 powershell.exe now this is something which i'm also typing here to make sure you do this as it is because for now there is no official documentation which is applied so for this particular section if you need to add an application, it requires complete location. Make sure you populate this particular value in this particular section. Then only things will work as you are expecting them to work. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to click on uh, review and save and I'll save uh, this particular setting in this particular policy. And within a couple of minutes, these settings should be applied to my machine altogether okay so now let me just verify yes perfect everything is listed as expected so now I'm going to close this and then the next step is more over related to the settings that you will go ahead and check on the client itself okay so from here I'm going to initiate a sync so that the latest settings and configuration should reach my device and then I'm going to again create a report, an MDM report. And I'm going to close the one which I've opened previously. And now I'm going to open this latest one. And the expected behavior is that if now I will go ahead and search for controlled folder access configuration, you can see everything is getting listed over here, right? So in controlled folder access allowed application, PowerShell is getting listed as well as if I'll go ahead and search for control folder access enabled value, you can see enable control folder access and defender section. It is also showing a value as well. Okay, so these are a couple of steps that you can do to verify whether the settings that you have made, they are getting applied or not. The same concept applies to protected folder as well. You can see concepts work is getting listed. Now I'll close the security console. I'll relaunch it just to see if everything is getting listed as expected or not okay so now i'm going to click on open windows security virus and threat protection manage ransomware protection and as you can see the same behavior uh, which we were getting either uh, with group policy object as well right so again Opening this particular console requires your account to have admin access. And as you can see in protected folder, C concepts work is getting listed over here. Now there are ways to block these activities even for admin accounts as well, which I will be discussing later the moment we'll talk about Windows security application. But for now, you can see we are getting similar results to what we were getting while configuring the same set of uh, requirements to group policy object. Now let's go ahead and download CFA tool. Again, the same uh, set of testing that we have done in our last video, just to make sure everything is working as expected. I'll again go to this particular article and here every uh, demonstration file is available. So for this particular demo, we need the one uh, with which we can go ahead and uh, you know create a folder uh, in a specific location, which is my protected folder itself. So for this demo, to be very precise, I have already downloaded this particular script. Okay. Now in my previous video, I have shown you CFA tool directly, but here I'm going to show you this particular script, which was the case in my Windows security application as well. So let's say if I do this uh, run with admin, this script is just going to create uh, the demo folder and this script is also going to create uh, or let's say download the CFA tool in my machine itself. So if I'll go inside this particular folder of CFA test files, I can find my tool getting listed over here. So I'm going to launch this tool. And again, I'm going to create a file in a protected folder. And the expected behavior is 
the file will not be created and I will get a prompt uh, at the right hand side bottom of my screen that this particular action is blocked. So my protected folder list shows me C concepts work. And let me just see whether there is any folder like concepts work created in my C drive or not. Okay. So, okay, there is no assets folder. So again, I'm going to create concepts work a folder. And then I will be using CFA tool to create a file. And uh, we should get similar behavior. Likewise, we were getting this, you know, uh, in our GPO video as well. Yeah, so it's getting listed over here. I have a C concepts work folder now. Let's go ahead and create a file with again, some random extensions in my custom path, which is concepts work. Okay, there is a typo. Let me remove that. Yes. Now let's just change this file name value. And let's just type sample CW and I'll click on create file. As you can see, the file is not created, but if I'll wait, I'll get the same message at the right hand side bottom. Now let's say if I click on it, I can go ahead and check more detail in terms of, uh, you know, what was blocked and whatnot. Now this section remains same uh, for all the three types. So you can just go ahead in event viewer and read these logs uh, to be very precise and they have three different IDs. So let me just launch event uh, viewer quickly and again go to that particular location of application and service logs and then inside this I'll go to windows and then here I'm going to scroll down to this particular folder of windows defender operational logs and here you can see I'm getting 1121, which is a different one. Uh, okay, so this was the ransomware file getting blocked, but this is the one where CFA tool was blocked to access a particular folder, which was C concepts work. Okay, now if I'll copy this value, you can see this is what it is end to end. C CFA tool was blocked from modifying C concepts work. Okay. So now the next step is to go ahead and check the logs on a security portal by running this particular advanced hunting query. And then you can also see the same set of information and device timeline, as well as alerts are not generated for CFA, okay, for control folder access. So let me switch to my browser. And as you can see, I'm inside security.microsoft.com and then I'm running this particular query, which is giving me the results, which is basically showing me the same set of information, uh, which is again related to my client, uh, which is Intune-ASR client. If I want to know more detail, I can just click on this, scroll down, and I'll get each and every information that I need to know. So this was all about knowing how control folder access can be enabled through Microsoft Intune. Now let's just talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this video. So in this video, we discussed about enabling control folder access through Microsoft Intune, creation of endpoint security policy, adding protected folders and whitelisting applications to access a protected folder altogether. And then we also discussed about how to check logs and uh, how to review events on MDE portal. In the next video, I'm going to talk about network protection altogether. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.